Alrighty guys, welcome to the 2024 Cloverdale Rodeo. Rodeo and it's my official first one too so I have no idea what's here let's go figure out what they have and probably grab a bite as well so it seems like this is the food trucks and we got some live music there and there's the actual rodeo at the Longhorn Horn Saloon at the back there. Quite a busy fair to be honest. I don't know if you can hear me, it's so loud with the music. village Let's see what they have here oh, that's cool.
All right, that was a cool little area with the indigenous village. Some crafts, some handmade stuff. And uh, I don't know if you could call that souvenirs, but you know, items you can purchase as gifts. All right, let's go back to the main section and see what else there is. Seems like they have all kinds of stuff here for sale. Something uh, to do with snoring. Oh, there you are. And that's, I don't know. That is crazy. Every market we go to, there's a psychic reader. That's next level good business, I guess. Woo! Do a wheelie! <laughs> Oh, no way. They have a Trudeau voodoo. Uh, this is a kit and you get a little pouch with all the pins and everything. And these aren't voodoo dolls, but they're packaged up. That's very cool. Yeah. Oh, not even excuse me, watch out. Oh oh. That's what you get in Canada. <laughs> so we'll come back to this section here and see what else is here. Oh, so it looks like a, a chair and a backpack combo. Got the Canadian Arms Armed Forces. A nice bench. No crazy options. Oh. Okay, and this is where the rodeo takes place. 
pretty soon. Yeah, just like you heard right now, I was trying to get tickets for that section as well, but it is sold out. And at the same time, I'm not a big fan of uh, watching animals get dragged and stuff, so it's uh, kind of a win-win for, for right now. All right, let's uh, look at the right side of the section, or right section of this uh, rodeo, and we'll get to the food trucks and hopefully have a good bite. Ooh, look at all these ribs. Ooh. That is at least 40 racks of ribs. Here's where they're serving it. How you doing? Oh, that looks good. You do have a bunch of awards from the Rip Fest and the... Uh... Yeah. Hey, yeah. no, like Let's look at this one. How you doing? How you doing? Looks good, man. Thank you. So more, more awards for them. I got brisket here and more barbecue. Ooh, smells good, man. More awards for these guys as well. Seems uh, like some legendary barbecue spots there. Um, if the food trucks aren't promised, then we'll have to come back here and uh, give something here a try. Lots of people chilling, relaxing, and Enjoying the sunshine. Some more live music back there. Seems like that's like a um, little drink garden where you can just sit down and have a few drinks. And Ooh, that looks good. Like a crazy amount of food trucks. Yeah, way more than the food truck festival we went to last week. Put the link somewhere in the video.
in the two-player race. Um, you can't race with the one player. Everybody want to do it? Let's see this guy try. Those rims look quite narrow. I'm not a basketball player, but I can tell those rims have been squished a bit, so it's probably very tight. You can get it in, but it's very tight. Quite a few rides as well. I'm not sure you gotta get tickets for the rides. Hello. Hi. Those look good. Hello. Caramel apples and cotton candy. <laughs> Wow, there's even another section. What's there? Ah, okay, so it's like the... Probably farm animals or something. It says, welcome to farm friends. What we'll do is we'll look at the rest of the fair and we'll come to the farm friends area see what kind of animals they have.
this game and it grabbed the ducks and a few more rides Go this way. Lots of people out. <laughs>
the guys who walk are rich. All the races are Lots of spots, so let's see what we can see. Pretty sure we saw this one at the food truck festival. I've seen everything so I'll show you guys every single food truck I guess. Kettle corn. This is that Filipino food truck. We saw this at the food truck festival. That's right, that's where we saw it. Rolled ice cream. Real cheese and poutine. Triple O's. The noodle bar. Ooh, they have pad thai. Might have to make it stop here.
quite a few pizzas here. I mean, uh, I just saw pizza, that's why my brain went uh, blank, but quite a few food trucks. That's every single food truck covered here. Uh, it's kind of a risk, but I think I'm gonna go with the Pad Thai, man. It's been a few weeks, about three weeks since I left Thailand and I've been adding Thai food. Oh, my mouth is just watering talking about it. But right, let's go give it a try, see if it's as good as back in uh, Thailand. I'll give it a rating at the end. This is the name. Salt Spring Noodle Bar. Great, thank you. I mean, uh, it is a fair, so. Oh, I caught it. Not the. Uh, it is a fair, so it's not fair to expect authentic pad thai, but I just hope it tastes uh, good of that chicken I did add some sriracha so oh it's just like five pieces of chicken <laughs> on top of the noodles I wouldn't say authentic by any means, but it is not bad. The, the flavors aren't the same, but it is what it is. Of course, uh, what you get in Thailand is much more flavorful and um, they cook it in a wok so you get that char on the noodles the chicken it just tastes different but um, this just tastes more like a chicken teriyaki maybe maybe the sauce isn't uh, the same I mean they are using rice noodles but Not bad for a fair and portions kind of kind of small maybe medium but I can't complain too much because again we are at a road deal these are food trucks and they're trying to make a profit finish this might go out and grab something else might not we'll see but I'll get back to you guys in a minute all right this taco truck looks pretty good
I should say the pictures on the taco truck. So, let's give it a try. Hopefully it's good as the pictures. Looks good, Mac. Can I have one chicken and one pork taco? Promising, this place is good. Thank you. That looks very promising. Because we're gonna plan like one meal to the I kinda wish I got some guac with it. Because they kinda look uh look a bit dry. No salsa. No guac, no sour cream, nothing. So that's the pork and that's the chicken, if you can't tell. If you didn't know, now you know. Alright. Quick taste test. It is a bit dry. Definitely needs a better salsa or guac for sure. Guac would have made this a lot better. the chicken hopefully the chicken is a bit more moist It's really good actually. Even though there's no uh, no guac, no sour cream, it still tastes really good. Don't you? Guys, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the last two bites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you didn't make it out this year, make sure to come out next year and check it out because it is quite a bit of fun. Lots of food trucks, lots of things to do, especially if you have kids. Thank you for watching the video all the way to the end. If you would like it and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. See you until the next time. Ciao.